So, 2021, do you really want to be able to speak Japanese this year? Yes. If it's yes, please watch this video until the end. Okay? So, today I'd like to tell you three reasons why you should stop learning Japanese letter, which is hiragana, katakana, kanji, if you really want to achieve this year to be able to speak Japanese. So, my name is Terumi. I couldn't speak English anything just five years ago, but now I can speak English, German, and Greek. Why I could improve my speaking skill? Because I stopped doing this. So, today, three reasons I'm gonna tell you why you should stop doing hiragana, katakana, kanji because you want to be able to speak Japanese. So, reason one. Reason one, you know, seven years old Japanese children, they go to the elementary school, they start learning hiragana, katakana, kanji. So, people believe this is a first step to learn Japanese, but it's not. They are actually already fluent in Japanese. So, this is a point. When you decide to actually become a Japanese speaker, you should stop doing letter first. So, the reason one is children become fluent without writing and reading skills. Okay, so you cannot speak Japanese, but you start going to the elementary school with English. So, what is a huge difference is you, as an English speaker, start learning suddenly letter without any speaking skill. But Japanese seven years old elementary school students, they already can speak Japanese fluently and they start learning the letters. So, which means what I want to tell you here is you have to be able to speak Japanese first. Then learning kanji. Okay, so this is it's a huge mistake. Especially we have thousands of letters. So try imagine you touch kanji after the thousand of the letters you actually speak? No way! It's gonna take whole elementary school year, junior high school and high school and maybe university. So when are you gonna be a Japanese speaker? Stop. Writing is later. You're gonna start communication part first, then like you become like elementary school Japanese children and start doing the letters. Okay. So reason two, because Japanese letter are more than 2,000 500. So, as I said, the reason one, if you touch kanji, you're gonna spend almost more than 10 years easily. So, here, here is a kanji 2500. Okay. Kanji, Japanese kanji, I'm sure. It's like you're fascinated about because it's something it's different. So maybe kanji is beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I'm really, you know, proud that this, I'm Japanese and I can understand almost, almost everything. You know, but you know, almost. It's like you, as a native English speaker, doesn't mean you can spell it all the letters, all the um, all the vocabulary perfectly, right? Everybody make mistakes sometimes, you know, spelling. Of course, as a Japanese, I sometimes don't remember the kanji. I sometimes don't remember what is this pronunciation because we have 2,500, you know? A lot. Okay, so one of the most difficult things in learning Japanese, if you start kanji, you don't have time to spend for the training to speak. So that's the reason 
2,500 kanji, you should stop doing this. If you haven't started learning Japanese, you will never start these things. Okay? You become like a children. You start speaking already, you are like quite fluent in Japanese, like children. And then after that, go to the elementary school, they start learning kanji. So, just please follow. Like Japanese children, they start communicating. After that, they start doing this most difficult things kanji. Okay, so reason three. Reason three is you better use translation apps. So, we are here 2021, especially you are not children, you are adult. Maybe over 30, over 40, over 50, whatever. You are a d u l t and you have a limited time. You are working, you have to do something else, you have a family, and you have a limited time. y o u almost impossible to go to the Japanese elementary school to do everyday kanji, right? And why you should use, why don't use language apps to just translate? Because I understand you want to understand the kanji, I understand you want to read the book, but this is a reality. You need over 10 years, plus, you need to do it every day, like elementary school or junior high school student. Otherwise, you can't complete this 2,500 kanji. This is a reality. Otherwise, you actually become like almost AI robot to actually put the tips and you know, you can really speak today. But unfortunately, we don't have this technology yet. So, which means either you really want to read and then write down, or either you want to speak. I think speaking is more important. First of all, even you can read some letters. If you cannot speak at all in front of you, you have a Japanese person, you cannot communicate at all, or you cannot read a book. Which one is more serious problem? Definitely, you can't communicate at all, will be much problematic, especially if you want to join the community, if you want to work together, if you want to have more deeper relationship. Communication is more important than actually reading the text because we are human, right? It's better you actually use a language, you know, translation apps to just、uh, translate immediately so you don't need to learn the kanji so much, but you can really communicate fluently. Believe me, why I could learn three languages these five years English. Greek and German because I stopped focusing on the spelling. I s- more focusing on the speaking and pronunciation and communication, natural, natural communication. How to speak, how to actually interact with the people, my listening skill. This is more important as a human than actually I focus on the spelling because I'm not an elementary school student. So, what about you? You, if you really feel that the, I really want to communicate with the Japanese, please stop doing this because it's not effective for improving your speaking skills. Like a child, become like a child to be able to speak first and then learn the letter later. So, what do you think? So, please share with me your comment here. Okay, so thank you. Arigatou gozaimashita. Matta ne. So, if you want to change your life with a Japanese speaking skill, seriously, join our master course, two months. So, you can be ready to communicate with Japanese people after two months. So, for example, you can maybe make Japanese friends, you can enter the Japanese company, you can try. More conversation with Japanese people every day, so that's why your speaking skill g r o w up every day. So, these two months, we're gonna make a perfect the foundation of your Japanese speaking skill, then you can start speaking with Japanese people real life. 
or social media on Instagram or Facebook or anywhere that you can actually have the chance to speak. So, if you really want to change your life, seriously use Japanese communication skill, speech skill, presentation skill for the business, for the private. Let's join the master course.